Mm-hmm. All right, you got five minutes for us? Absolutely. Okay. Oh, Hello, one. Okay, okay, I can't. Okay, okay. All right, let's get right into it. Um, as far as I know, I don't have any children. As far as I know, and they're like, my mother always pressures me. You know what I'm saying? She's like, Mo, where you gonna make me some kids? Mo, where you gonna make me some grandkids? I said, when you let me have company past 10 p.m., I can't afford rent and hotels. My mother is a hater. This is preposterous. But, and, and, and this is the thing, like, I, I, I'm 44 years old. That's why my mother keeps pressuring me, because I'm 44. Clap it up for me. I'm happy. I'm happy. Yay. I'm happy. Because black people don't live that long, man. <laughs> Between diabetes, police brutality, and child support, we are an endangered species. You know what I mean? And the age, it catches you when you least expect it. When you least expect it, you're old. Like, I realized I was getting older when I realized I really do enjoy the taste of a pastrami Reuben. <laughs> and for those that don't know, that's an old school sandwich with old school ingredients. It comes with Swiss cheese, Thousand Island, sauerkraut. That's convalescent cuisine. I have it every Thursday at 4 p.m. with a tapioca pudding and a yoo while watching the Golden Girls. I think Blanche is beautiful. And if they could bring her back to life, I would make her my boo-boo. Because Blanche got that boom, 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 boom. Thank you for being a friend. Blanche was beautiful, man. I want to meet a lady so old, if I get her pregnant by accident, she will get birth to a college graduate. (laughs) That baby go from maternity to fraternity uh, immediately. Summa cum baby. I do need to have some children, though, all jokes aside. That's the only way you live forever, as far as you know, extending your genes and your legacy. And if I have kids, I got to go to Africa, man. I gotta go to the motherland and have myself a child with a beautiful African sister. And do you wanna know the main reason why, Nevin? No, why? Because the infomercials in the 80s and the 90s and Sally Struthers told me it only cost 25 cents a day to raise a healthy African <laughs> black baby, man. Yeah. That's only $7.50 per month. <laughs> I can afford that. I paid more for Disney Plus. And I don't even watch it. Just like how I'm not gonna watch that baby. Cause my dad never watched me. I'm following in my father's footsteps. Which were very small because he's only five foot six. <laughs> but um, I'm gonna let you go with this. I have this uh, dating model. You either adore me or you ignore me. Nothing in between. I got no time to figure it out. She she got to be in love with me immediately. I'm not that attractive, so I'm probably gonna be single for the rest of my life. Uh, you ain't supposed to laugh at that's messed up. Uh, man. Uh, but you still gotta shoot your shot sometimes, man. You still have to try. And that's what I did the other day. I saw this beautiful chocolate sister conservatively dressed, sipping on a martini at the bar after a comedy show. So I approached her gingerly and I said, I think you're gorgeous and I would love to take you off sometime if that's okay with you. And she was like, well, that's all well and good, but you know, I just gave my life to Christ and I'll only be dealing with a preacher or a pastor. <laughs> so you be doing with a preacher? She was like, yup. I said, you only deal with a pastor? She was like, yup. I said, well, you know what? <laughs> you came to the right place. <laughs> I was looking at you. You was looking so beautiful, like a chocolate Kim Kardashian. I'm going to take you to breakfast. I'm going to take you to lunch. I'm going to take you to dinner. I'm going to buy you those red shoes. That spaghetti strap dress. That Chanel perfume. The only stipulation. We got to go to the hotel and have some consummation. But we're not really married. So it's really fornication. And if you have a baby, if you get pregnant, I'm going to catch the whole ghost. Or did I say ghost? I meant ghost literally, because I'm not going to be in that child's life. My daddy wasn't there for me, so I'm not going to be there for that kid. I'm following in my father's footsteps. Yeah. And that's my time. I appreciate you.